What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Joe and this is Heart Nostal Printing. In this video, we're going to be unboxing a heat press from Tussie. Um, as you guys know, in the past, Tussie has sent me their heat presses and has always had me unbox them and doing a review on them. So in today's video, we're going to be doing that also. But that's just not it. All right, so this is going to be like a little series, I guess we could say, right? Because we're going to be unboxing three heat presses. We got this one right here from Tussie, if you guys are familiar with them. In my past videos, I've unboxed not one, but two heat presses from them. And they just came out with a new one, and they sent it to me also. So I'm going to be unboxing this one in this video. The next video that we're going to be doing is another company sent me a heat press. Um, I don't really know what the name of it is, but when we get to that video, you'll see it. And that one, we're going to unbox that one. Um, and they actually sent me two of them, and I'm going to be giving one of those away. So if you guys are looking to get into the t-shirt business, the garment printing business, and you're just starting out, right here. This is going to be like the little series for you because we're doing this one, we're doing another one, and then we're going to be doing a big 16 by 20 press. We're not giving that one away, so don't get too excited. The 16 by 20 press is... Uh, from Rakoma. I just got that one from Rakoma. So what we're going to do is we're going to be actually using that one here in the shop. Um, but like I said, but if you've been following me, I have too many heat presses. And I, these little heat presses right here, I can't keep them in the shop. So I'm going to be giving um, one of them, maybe two of them away to a lucky subscriber or a follower on Instagram. Or maybe even TikTok. We'll see. So make sure you guys are following on all three platforms so that you... Don't miss out on this opportunity to get one of these heat presses, all right? All right, so let's go ahead, cut to the chase, and unbox this thing. All right, so here it is right here, the Tussie press, right? Got a mug press, a cap press, the heat press, 12 by 15 maybe, and then we got a 8-inch and 10-inch plate heating pad, a 12-ounce mug, a 9-ounce mug, and then it says BJLH, whatever that is, right? So let's go ahead. We're going to start opening this thing. We're going to bring you up on top so that you guys can see um, whenever we open this thing up, how it actually comes packaged and all that good stuff. So let's do that. All right, so here it is. I've already cut it open. I forgot to hit record. I was already pulling stuff out, showing you guys stuff, and then I realized I never hit record. So I put it all back in the box, and we're going to do it again. All right, so here it is right here. I'm not going to cut it open with tape. It's not a big deal. Um, but here is what comes in this heat press right um, this is the top layer we have this here I guess and I'm guessing this is for the plate press I'm not really sure but we'll figure this out and then right here we have our cap press right here's our cap press um, and if you guys have followed me every time I open up one of these five in one heat presses um i've always told you that the the way they make these is not really good for caps but we'll see we'll see how this one comes this one is actually plastic a lot of the other ones that i've been getting in are metal but we'll but we'll look at it and see if you can actually fit a cap on here to press it so all right and then the last thing on top is the mug press and as you can see with this one um it is interchangeable so you are able to take these off and put a different size in there so that is always cool and then one of the things that i see on this press that i see on all the heat presses that come um, from overseas is this screw or this bolt or this nut whatever you want to call it is rusted they're always rusted and that is always a big worry for me um because being that this thing is rusted and the reason it scares me is because whenever you put a mug in here and you go to put 
pressure onto this right here. If this is rusted heavily in the inside, um, it could break. And that's what happened with the last press that I had. Um, I did five mugs and right here it broke. So um, we'll see. I'll put some mugs in here. We're not gonna press no mugs with this. We're just gonna put a mug in here. We'll clamp it a couple times and we'll see how this thing holds up, All right? So let's go ahead, move this out of the way so we can take this out. All right, and then last, as you can see, everything had its own compartment, right? And then we're gonna take out this piece and there is the heat press, right? Also in here, if I look down here, here is one of the attachments for a mug. Here's another one, a little bit longer. Still not long enough for the 20 ounce, the 20 ounce tumblers, but a little bit longer. And then there is one more. Let me show you that one. And there is this one here. I'm not, I'm not sure, maybe a, a mug again, I don't know. But as you can see, this one does come with four of these. There was one on there and then these three right here, All right? So let's go ahead, get this heat press out of here, put it on the table so you guys can look at it. All right, so here it is right here. Um, this thing looks like it's built pretty good. This thing has pla it's plastic. This is plastic, this is plastic. Um, usually the ones that have come with this, I call them the brain, are usually detached from this. So you have to put it, actually put it on here and hook it up yourself. But this one's actually on there and it's secured, not like the other ones, right? So we got that one. Uh, we got our power button, our reset button. We'll turn this on here in a second. We'll look at the functions that it has. One thing I like so far is they changed the shape of this. They went from a circle to this star looking thing or whatever it is and the reason they did that is because um if you look there's a wing nut there and there's a wing nut right there so what that does is whenever it comes time to change out this and put your cap press on here um you got a, a whole lot easier to go ahead and reach in here and unscrew these um, in the past the last press that i had um had little tiny holes up here and then you had to have an Allen key that went straight down in there and the screw was like buried underneath the circle thing. So they got rid of that and now they just have the wing nuts there. So that is good because I know like in that video that I did, a lot of people were complaining about those little holes and the Allen key. All right, so again, this is made of plastic right here, but it's not, oh my gosh, it's made of plastic. As soon as I turn it on, it's gonna melt. It's not made with cheap plastic, right? It's not connected to the platen to where this is gonna overheat, right? And melt, don't think that, right? Next thing, I wanna show you the arm up here. All right, so here's the arm right here. And and the last one, the first one that Tussie came out with was built really, really good with the metal. Um, and then the knob back here also turned really good. And then the second one that I got from them, uh, the back of this, I had to like really move the platen here to get this thing to go up and down. Um, and it looks like they've changed it up a little bit. So let's look to see how easily this thing goes up and down with, by just turning this. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show it from the side here, um, just so that we'll have to see, like the last one I was talking about, I had to like hold this up and spin this just to get this to go up and down. So let's see how this one goes. Um, we're gonna go to the right. It says it's gonna take it down. Um, and it's actually moving pretty, pretty smooth. All right, and then when we go back the other way, it is moving up. There's no binding or anything like that to it. Um, whole lot smoother than the last one that we had from from them. So it's like they've done some, some re-engineering on this little heat press here um, for you guys, All right? So let's go ahead. Get this thing plugged in and see the board here. All right, so there's our temperature. It's currently rising. Um, we got 152 and it's actually rising pretty fast, right? Then we got our time, which is four seconds. And then if you look down here, we have a press count of 384 because if you follow me on Instagram, I was using this press. So I have been using it. I've used it 384 times to be exact, right? Um, and then it has the mode, you got three different modes here. There's a t-shirt mode. Um, I'm not sure what these are. I didn't read the instructions, but there's three different modes. And it's cool because you can set up three different temperatures. So right now for mode one, 
we're setting it at 285 for four seconds. If we wanted to set up another one or program another one, we come to two and we can set it up for DTF prints, which is 320 degrees for 15 seconds, or we can set it up to the third one for 285, which would be the B-Flex uh, vinyl. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do it for this one right here. 320 degrees for 15 seconds and then we're going to press a DTF print and I'm going to show you how easy it is to press it and you're not going to have no problem with it whenever it comes to these presses here if you were looking to get into DTF prints. Um, we're going to be doing, matter of fact we'll do this one right here. So this is a lawn care service that I did. This was their chest piece. So we'll do this one. Um, we'll press that onto a shirt and I'm going to show you um, with this press it can be done. This is a cold peel. This is a cold pill, so we'll have to let it cool down before we uh, pull it, or I think you pull it off. Yeah, pull it off, right? So we're gonna let this thing warm up, and then we'll press one of those and see how it goes, right? All right, so let's get into the mode and the setting button, all right? So a lot of these heat presses have always been really confusing, where I have like an ST, which means set time, um, a another one that said like something for the temperature and everybody was always writing me messages on on the youtube videos and asking me like can you show me or can you tell me how to set the temperature or how to set the time and it's always been really confusing but now on this one um tussie has made it a whole lot easier so what we're going to do is we're going to come to settings uh, we're on mode number one we're going to change that one so we're going to hit settings and boom there it is what do you want to do you want to go down you want to go up that easy right none of this S T T whatever right that easy come here set your time you press it again you set your seconds so whatever you're pressing um, DTF prints if you're pressing um, vinyl the gimme five vinyl presses for four seconds if you're using the sandy glitter of vinyl from B flex it presses at 10 seconds you know what I mean at a different temperature so then it's very easy just to come in here change your temperature change your time Hit enter and you're set. They took they took all of that other stuff out of there, right? So if you had if you were pressing like like we're gonna do today, let's set this for 285 for four seconds. That's our gimme five, right? Then I'm gonna switch it to mode number two. It's already set 320 for 15 seconds. That's what my DTF that's what that's what my DTF prints press for. So I got that one set. And then if there was something that you were constantly printing or pressing all the time, say you wanted to set it up for printable vinyl, which presses at a higher temperature, 300 and something for 20 or 30 seconds, you can set it up here and then whatever you're working with, switch it to what you need, right? So we're gonna go with this one here uh, so we could do this right here. So we're at 300 degrees for 15 seconds. We need to let it get up to 320. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to press this shirt like I said. Um, I work in a t-shirt shop. I don't know if you guys know that but I have a lot of scrap t-shirts here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to press this shirt 320 degrees for 15 seconds and then we're going to do um, like I said cold pill DTF that I make here in the shop right with my um, direct to garment printer. All right. so we're going to go ahead we're going to pre-treat. I mean, Pre-press. I'm over here thinking direct to garment. We're gonna pre-press the shirt to get any of the um, moisture out of it. All right. You only need to do like two to three seconds. You don't need to do it forever. All right. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our image, put it into place. Um, I recommend you putting parchment paper or whatever paper you have over the image if you're doing DTF because the plastic from this will stick to the top of the platen. We're gonna bring this around. We're going to get ready to press it. I don't wanna do any cuts. So we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna hit start. 15 seconds, all right? So we're gonna let this go. Um, the temperature's set for 320, but this has gone up to 329, I'm not sure why. Um, with the press time um, and the platen being cool, the, the shirt being cool, the temperature is lowering, all right? So our time is done. We're gonna go ahead, now we're gonna hit the minus button. We're gonna bring this up move it out of the way all right like i said this is a cold pill i'm gonna let this thing cool down what i want to show you is um how this press can press dtf prints without having a whole lot of pressure with not having to guess about how much pressure you need right i know people that have white toner printers 
and they now buy DTF prints from me, all right? Because they tell me that their white toner printers gives them a lot of problems, all right? So with this, you're not gonna have that problem, all right? I'm not gonna say nothing about any of the other companies out there that do um, color printing like this, but um, from what I've heard from people is that if you don't have the right pressure, you don't have the right temperature, you don't have the, everything doesn't line up, you're not going to get your image to stick, right? And I'm going to show you with this heat press here and my DTF prints, you let it cool down, you don't have to guess. Check this out. See that? So there's our image. I'll bring this over there to you. It's a cold pill image, full color image onto this shirt here. All right, so check that out, all right? Looks good. So, as you guys saw right there, we did the DTF print, 320 degrees for 15 seconds. Doesn't tell us what our pressure is, doesn't tell us anything like that. All we did was press it, just like you do vinyl, let it cool down, and take off the carrier sheet, and there it is. All right, so now we already did the little review on this thing here. Let's hook up the mug press. We're not going to press a mug. We're going to put a mug in there just to see how that little screw or that little bolt will hold up because it has a lot of rust on it. So let's go ahead, turn this off, and go do that. So we're working on the outside of the pen, between the middle, R4, our cap press. So we have things up, secure this piece onto here with the wood nuts. And then the next thing I like to do is go ahead and stick this on here, bring this around. And then lower it onto it so that again your screws will fall into place. And then we're going to go ahead and tighten those things. If you don't have enough room to do that, lower it and we'll line it up. As you see here, we're right there, good to go. That's good. All right, so this has always been my thing with these cap presses. I'm going to bring you back a little bit just so I can show you. Um, when it comes to these cap presses and you have to press a cap, say we're trying to press this. On here this is embroidery I just did these embroidery but say we had to put this on here and they wanted to do this with vinyl um, as we can see like when it comes to doing this it's very very hard there's nowhere to put nowhere for the bottom of the cap to go we can always open this up try to do this pull your band out put it over it but as there's nothing to secure it there's nothing to hold it into place while you put vinyl on there to secure it and we'll have to pick this up just to get it over the cap once we get it into place there's really there's really no for me there's really no n no way to do this if we look back here, there's a gap back there. I'll try to zoom you in. Um, it touches one side here, one side here, but underneath here, we have probably about a quarter, maybe about a quarter of an inch, maybe a little bit more to where it doesn't get the bottom of the cap down here. It goes, it goes up here. Um, if your image is a little bit bigger, you know what I mean? There's just no way to really secure this cap whenever I'm doing that. So I have never, press caps on these things um, I didn't see anything for the plate press so I don't even said it came with the plate press things but I didn't even see that so maybe it was just those purple things and you just put them underneath the um, maybe you just put them underneath the platen I'm not even sure all right so I don't use the cap press because I've never liked it that's just me all right but if you wanted to do Headbands or something. Headbands would be easy, easy to put on here. Um, my main thing that I use this for is for, I do a lot of stuff for the military. So whenever they want something done, I use this here, right? I would center it up. I'm not gonna center it up and get all into it. But what I do is we'll go ahead and do one. We'll turn it on again. 320 degrees for 15 seconds. We're gonna do it. All right, so we're at 320 degrees. We're going to go ahead and put that on there. And then I'm just going to take a little piece of parchment paper, put it on, and then clamp it down, just like before. You want to hit the start time, not the stop time. Your start timer will start. And then whenever it's done, it will do this. 
hit the minus sign to stop your time or reset it and we're gonna let this thing cool down I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off we're gonna let this thing cool down and then we'll take it off all right and then once your image cools down this is a DTF print simply will come off just like that nice and smooth and as you can see this is what I like to use it for flags on the sh on the sleeves if someone wants their logo on a sleeve that's when I use it if you are into putting shirt tags in here you can always remove the tearaway tags that the shirts come with if you got DTF prints if you guys need DTF prints DTF tag prints hit me up you know what I mean uh, that's what this press is good for put your your neck label in there with your brand and your size and all that good stuff press it take it off and then you'll have your own neck label that's what this is good for this is not good for caps so that's it hopefully you can see everything here on the table that it that it comes with right um, we got the 12 by 15 heat press we got the mug press with three additional attachments so it comes with four all together we got the so-called cap press here right got that that also comes with it and then I was actually looking for a plate press because the previous ones came with a little circle plate press that you would attach to this um, but this one didn't this one is called the plate pad so that's what this is for I'm not sure how this works I've never pressed plates before um, so if one of you guys know leave a comment down below and help somebody out that picks up this press all right so I will put the link down in the description for this all right I am affiliated with Amazon and when you guys purchase one of these presses here I get a little three two percent kickback not a big deal right but if you guys go down below and you order one of these presses I appreciate you right um, and again is this the best press what is actually the best press who knows every company that comes out with a press is gonna tell you that their press is the best right um, I don't know but it gets the job done right I've used plenty of presses I have my blue press over there that I've had for four years and it's still kicking butt to this day um, the, the past presses that I've had of these have eventually went out but is that a bad thing no because in the process of pressing t-shirts or pressing whatever I was pressing I've made plenty of money back to cover the cost of the press right so don't take that into factor of like well how long is it gonna last is it gonna last for a year is it gonna last for two years um, these presses right here don't cost more than three hundred dollars um, and you can make your money back super fast when it comes to pressing stuff like this right we also did a press I wasn't gonna do that we pressed on this press with the heat press and the so-called cap press we didn't do a cap because for me honest review this is crap for caps right but when it comes to doing sleeves that's what I use it for so neck tags that's what I use it for stuff like that we did a DTF print on here and a DTF print on there and you guys saw that um, when after we pressed it we let it cool down because it was a cold pill um, the carrier came off super easy not like those other companies out there right you have to have certain amount of pressure you got to know um, what you're actually doing before you can do that this is no brainer with the DTF right so if you guys need DTF prints hit me up let me know all right um, by the time I edit this video and get it out um, I'm pretty sure I'll have cold pill back in because right now I currently don't but I do have hot pill in um, but I prefer the cold pill and um, I don't want to send out hot pill to customers so cold pill there's no guessing you wait till it gets cold you take it off right so that's what I'm waiting for um, and, and I will inform you guys whenever it comes out but by the time this video comes out if you guys are interested in it go to heartandhustleprinting.com scroll down to the bottom you'll see DTF prints uh, we have pre-made prints there or you can upload your own images over there also and, and with this press it's a no-brainer it'll press it and without a problem All right so last if you're on a budget and you're looking for a side hustle to do something right here's a press here's a press that you could do part one we're gonna open up another one all right so stay tuned for the next one all right so thank you guys for watching this short review of this heat press right if you guys are interested in one of these heat presses remember there's a link down below click that link and it's gonna take you to this press right here if you're interested in it purchase it if not do what you gotta do 
All right, if you guys are interested in this press or the other press that I'm fixing to do a review on also, uh, make sure you guys subscribe, click that bell so you're notified uh, whenever I get ready to do this giveaway, right? Thank you guys for all the support. Till next time, keep pressing. Thank you.